Hello and welcome back. This is Double O Debbie, and this is episode 111 or 111, whichever you prefer. I'm okay with. I'm okay with both. We're either or even none. I don't know. Um, but in today's episode, look at this. I have set up some of the basic mechanism automations over here in the underground base and this is going to help me so that i can start uh auto crafting some of the more complex uh, mechanism things in this space <laughs> i have most of this stuff set up at uh, my refined storage system, but I would like to have it all here <laughs> and just divert everything that's going into my other system over to this system. That would be, that would be really nice. Um, though there's a lot of things that I want to get done today, but one of the things I think I'm ready for, uh, now that we have all of our, like, polonium, Look at this we got like a thousand polonium I accidentally logged off uh now that i'm on a server <laughs> when i logged off yesterday i did not turn my uh, reactor off and luckily i had all the fail safes in place uh and it, when it ran out of fuel it just shut itself off so that was super cool to not <laughs> load into it a giant um radiated mass of land over where my reactor was um so we got lots of polonium i shut off the plutonium um oh i've already pulled all of that stuff out and put it into the other system so this is just the polonium that we got is just from last night 1000 polonium uh, so that is a lot. I think we will have enough for you. I still didn't make any of the the units for the armor. I really want to play with these, but I just I didn't have the time to do that. Uh, but I want to do something else today. I want to the SPS check this out this is super cool this turns our pol pol uh, polonium into antimatter uh, but one of the things I might want to do is go out to the fission reactor right now because I have it on um, and, and shut this guy off so that he'll stop using up the polonium and we'll just get some over here uh, built up once it fills up this internal tank. I think. Um, oh, it won't. No, I need to turn. I need to leave this one on and turn this guy off. So. Yeah, there we go. Now it's just building up. So this guy will have to require signal to activate. Uh, so now it should start building up so that we can uh, we can divert. Oh, this doesn't need power. trying to think of where I could pull this out from. I guess since it doesn't need power, I could probably uh, do something like this and divert the, the power a little bit down, I guess. Aha! And then we can run a pipe out of the bottom, I guess. Um, hopefully, it'll work. Can you, can you do the bottom? Yeah. Output. Awesome. Okay, uh, 
so let's go. <laughs> now that we got this, uh, this is almost full and it's going to start building up more polonium. Ah, uh, there we go. Uh, but I really need to be able to pull this out because I think once this fills up, this is going to fill up, then the uh, stuff in the nuclear reactor will start building up. Uh, so maybe I might want to uh, hold off on running this guy for a little bit until I'm ready to divert that polonium out into the super critical phase shifter. <laughs> My bob thingamajig. Um, so uh, the SPS, uh, since these blocks are so expensive to make, it takes four polonium and one plutonium. And I looked at uh, the website. I think we only need 60 of these. <laughs> so let's see if we can get 60. Oh yeah, because we got all the stuff and things. Okay, now we need at least two ports. Port used for the transfer of energy and substances in the supercritical phase shifter. We might actually need... Actually, I think we need three. We need an input, an output, and then an energy one. So I think we need three. Oh, and that's going to take uh, 12 more casings. Ouch. And we need some ultimate control circuits. Ooh, look. Uh, <laughs> oopsie. I better sleep. Awesome. Okay. Uh, we need these ultimate control circuits, which I happen to be able to do. Let's do this. Ultimate control circuit. So we're going to need three of those. There we go. Um, and it should, uh, it should be able to come right in. There we go. Oops. Aha. Okay, so now the rest of it can be uh, the reactor glass. Okay, maybe it's under pressure chain glass, quartz glass. I thought I had, I don't know. I thought I had. Maybe it's in this one. Reactor glass, basic uh, reactor glass. This is the glass, I believe. And reactor glass. It's the mechanism one. Yes. Okay. This is it. Um. This, this isn't very bad to make, so I'm just going to make up a couple of stacks because that's pretty cheap. <laughs> it's pretty cheap and stuff. Glass. Let's try that. Um, I would really like it kind of close to this. But not so much. Uh, Let's turn this on. Okay, so let's just make it in this chunk, I guess. Um, one, two, three, four, five. 
Okay. You make a three by three, and then on each side you add three like that. And that's uh, your basic pattern. Then you want the casings to go on the outside of that. And then you repeat this pattern on all sides. So, um, and then we do the three by three with three. And then put the casings on the outside. We just repeat that on all the different sides. Oh yeah, <laughs> I feel like a, a real tech wizard building this thing, you know? <laughs> it's pretty cool. Oh yeah, these are just, I don't know, it's kind of cool. Oh, I am going to have to get some more of that glass to go after glass. Yes, I will take, I will take. Oops. And boom. Um, now, I do have quite a bit of power stored up, but this thing is a beast. It's going to take a lot of power. Oh, okay, so same thing on the top. And a boop, and a boop, and a boop. And a boop. And now um, we need to place our quartz. Oh, I forgot. We need like the uh, the Tesla coil too. Um, it has to go on the inside. Um, let's turn that back off. Awesome! What? Okay, so I did forget about the Tesla coil. Look at that, there's two of them. Um, what? Uh... Ha! Supercharge! It's not called a Tesla coil. All the supercharged coil. What? Look at all that. So we need this laser. Oh boy. <laughs> I might need to let's see. Let's put you there. Back there. So I probably should set up uh, the autocraft for that. <laughs> Just because it's got some parts. Uh, so let's do this. Because I have all of this uh, already on there. Let's just put you there. And then get the laser. Uh, I think I already have the steel casing, but I don't have the energy tap. I think. And I just set up uh, the infused alloys, so that's cool. Dude. Dude. Oh, yeah. There we go. 
probably not worth it since I'm only going to need like one of these. But you can have multiple supercharged coils in there. Uh, here we go. Haha, <laughs> I think um, I need to go inside fix this. Oh, it's scary. Uh-oh, let me out, let me out. <laughs> you know. Okay, so I think this is the one that you need to put the power up to I think I don't toggled SPS port mode to output no so it's only input or output so we want that to be input uh, this one can be input and then this one How's that? Sounds like a plan. So that means we need power over here. So we're going to need a point. The point. I have been trying to set up some of the basic resources over <laughs> at my base. It's the underground base and need to get lava um, and I'm tired of going to the nether and having to move it all the time so um, <laughs> I wanted to create an infinite um, this is I wonder if I should shut this off okay it's just filling up I guess um, maybe I shouldn't do this just yet. I don't know. Okay, so we got to pipe all of our uh, stuff over here. I think I need the... Oh, I don't have them. I used up all of my uh, pressurized... Uh, tubes over there and I don't have that oh look at that I had 64 just waiting there for me that is great um, so let's get this stuff hooked up no there we go um okay that's just power so that's not going to interfere um this is gonna look really really bad i think uh yeah that looks right don't know uh, since it's a gas I don't really know how to get it over uh, since it's radioactive you know uh, so oh I have my configurator right there so we just need to tell this guy correct The blue one out, put out the bottom. Yes, it's oh, put out the bottom. There we go. Oh, look, it's already doing the thing. I'm not ready. Um, we gotta have another two dad over here. It doesn't have a place to go. Oh, it's uh, just building up over here. Wow, this thing is super cool. I love it. I love it. Uh, um, okay, so now that we have 
our antimatter. We have to pull it out and put it into a, let's see, a chemical crystallizer. That's what we got to do, chemical crystallizer. Um, ooh, I don't think I have refined obsidian set up just yet over at place. Uh, chemical crystallizer. There we go. <laughs> now I can do the thing. Uh, I should just be able to request everything. Oh, it's... See, I don't understand why that gets messed up. Because... Okay, let's go back. I don't know what... It's the recipe for... Uh, if I just go and take some obsidian, let's grab some obsidian. some obsidian. I don't know what's wrong with the recipe. I thought I fixed it before. Oh, and I gotta go into <laughs> the compact machine. Okay. Um, I think it's just an enriching factory. There we go. Uh, that should give us enough, enough stuff. Oh, I bet I know what it is. Um, I know now, I know now what it is. Uh, because I have those machines self-loading for uh, the mechanism stuff, it's sucking this up and turning it into the enriched obsidian and then putting it into the machine. So that's why it was like, hey, we don't have this because it keeps getting used up. I, I'm assuming that's what it was doing. So let's do that. Uh, there. There we go. Uh, nope. I'm on vacation. Sweet. So I wonder if I can just set this directly over here. Let's see. We want the red. No. Is it going to be a liquid at that point? Is that a matter of liquid? I think it would be a gas. Yeah. Um, well, it says it can't eject. So is it fused tops or is this all pigments and slurries? Is it considered a slurry? No. Nothing can eject. Okay, so since we're taking in a gas, it's going to input on any side. That's what I'm getting. Um, and then the items we will want to just, let's do this. Uh, all we need is an eject. And let's have it go out on the top. And uh, let's see. chest. Um, yeah, I just need a chest. One, one tiny chest will do, I guess. Right, is that coming in? Yes, we have antimatter in here. Nice, so this guy also needs 
power Let's see point oh we got some already in there awesome um i guess i don't really know Do we need upgrades for this we might as well put an upgrade in it Awesome. So now we have a place for all that polonium to go. So we can turn our uh, reactor back on. Oh, <laughs> I love it. I love it. Three millibuckets. It won't be long now. <laughs> um. Now I don't have my upgrades set up at the underground base yet, so I will uh, definitely try to get those set up. Uh, now I need to, I would like to check on my power. Look at that. Oh, that is so cool. Like how bad is it going at our power? Um, I guess it's not too bad since it's going at only 800, 800,000 a tick is what it's capped at. Now I could remove that limitation. Uh, here if I want to. Um, but we are producing more than 800,000. Maybe if I, I wish I could specify it instead of you know, you can remove the limit, but you can't. Oh, I guess maybe I could. Oh, um, that's cool. So I could put like one, six. It's the transfer limit for supply two. Uh, and then I could go out to my vision reactor. Oh, look at him go. And then tell this the transfer limit is. Yes, 1.6. Oh, it's eating it all. Look at that. <laughs> we have the eight in the buckets. Oh man, uh, so I'm going to go ahead and just do my upgrades from here, and I'm trying to get all this stuff set up over at my new base, or at the underground base, which isn't exactly new anymore, <laughs> so I don't know. Oh, this is so good. Boink and a boink. Awesome. Uh, this might be running low on juice since you know we got all that power getting sucked into here. It's not it's not pulling any any power uh, because this one's only producing one so far. Uh -oh. um, now, I wish I could take the reactor offline, but I can't, you know, because <laughs> it's got to produce the polonium. Uh, how's our stuff doing over here? No gas. Nice. Uh, so that's taking care of all of our stuff. What's this doing? Uh, keeping up. Nice, nice. I like it when things work. Uh, so we are training. Maybe I should leave it at the 800,000 so it has enough. Uh, 
it has enough for uh, the other machines uh, to run for this one. Now it should have enough. Yeah, there we go. It's got enough to run this machine now. <laughs> That's going to have to be going for a long time to, to get one, one little tiny piece. Because I think it's a pellet that you get. Uh, yeah, it's a pellet that you get in order to make an antimatter. Um, uh, well, how do you make... Oh, that's industrial contraptions. That's a different animator. So this is all we need is animator. Oops. Cool. Now we can make uh, some of the teleportation unit and stuff that takes the animator pellets. Uh, and a protonic nucleosynthesizer. And the gravitational modulating unit. Those look pretty cool. Uh, so, yes. I would definitely like some of that. Uh, so we're going to let that go. <laughs> and, and hope that good things happen. Um, I am going to probably uh spend the rest of the day um goofing off trying to get some more of my mechanism automation set up at the underground base uh, i'm trying to get infinite lava so i don't have to worry about moving my lava source again so that i can make obsidian because i don't if you look obsidian i have 317 obsidian here. Of course, I just made a whole bunch of dust, but that's all right. Um, and if you look in my other system, I did make, I set up my uh, blast chiller to make obsidian, but then I ran out of lava. So I don't have a whole lot of obsidian to be making, you know, my enriched obsidian with. So I wanted to take care of that and get that set up. Uh, to do the stuff and things. So that's what I'm going to be doing. That's what I'm going to be working on. I'm working some more on the base as well. I want to go all the way up. Uh, see, I kind of cleared out this middle area uh, because when I'm coming down in my elevator, I want to be able to. I want to be able to look out at all the different levels and see what's on it uh, so i'm going to be knocking out this floor around that chunk and this floor here and probably this floor here but just in this one chunk here and then i want to i want to start setting resetting up all of my uh, mob farms and stuff. I still have so much work to do around here. <laughs> I I don't know. Um, yeah. I'm, I'm really happy that everything is coming together nicely. I moved this setup from up here. It's just up here. Ooh. In this corner uh, so I kind of moved it down a little bit and that's where I set up my blast chiller and my poor ender tank the lava is completely empty look at that <laughs> so it's it's sad uh, I'm also wanting to set up like a, a small elevator system so I can get down uh, to these other levels a little bit easier without having to just fly all over the place. <laughs> um, it gets so a little bit confusing sometimes when I don't remember what level I'm on because <laughs> there are so many levels. Um, I really like this. 
I know I don't need that many control controllers, but it just looks so cool. <laughs> I love it. Um, yeah. So we got our SPS set up and we got some antimatter coming in eventually. <laughs> so yeah, I'm really happy about that. I'm going to try and set up uh, some more of my mechanism automation so that I can get my upgrades and stuff over here and also maybe start setting up uh, some of these units as auto crafts so that I can, I mean like the Geiger unit probably since I only need one doesn't have to be auto crafted but there are some that you can have multiple upgrades so like for the locomotive boosting I would want four there's four there's four there's eight for this uh the geothermal takes eight uh vision enhancement breathing unit radiation shielding well this the radiation shielding you'd need one for each piece so and the laser dissipation unit um yeah, and the energy unit, you want like eight for each piece. So that's definitely something I want auto-crafted. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, we got a lot of stuff to set up. Actually, these things are already automated. So we would just need like the module base, which isn't a big deal. I think I would just have to teach it bronze and bronze nuggets. Ooh, so that would be a little bit interesting. Uh, but the basic induction cell, we already have the energy tablets. Oh, I would have to get the lithium to come over here. Dude, I have so much lithium. I think it's just been going. Look at this. Lithium. 614,000 lithium dust. I think I could probably shut it off safely now, but I mean... I hope that's in uh, a chest, a, a drawer system somewhere. Uh, yeah, anyway, I'm going to go ahead and call the episode here. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye!